Welcome to IOD Transfers Basics video. Essentially, IOD transfers are a transferable image. Technically, they are a pressure sensitive adhesive back image that you can apply to your favorite projects. A quick word about packaging. You may have gotten an IOD transfer that looks like this, or maybe you got one that looks like this. Either way, they're both the same great quality, just different packaging. These are our 12 by 16 transfer sheet pads. This particular one is eight pieces and it is the Painterly Florals pad. The cool thing about this particular one is that it is super buildable. We've designed it in such a way that you can go in and you can take pieces and you can compose it however you'd like. Mmm, sunflowers. Let's go ahead I and do some. I love how this set is actually made to look like it's hand painted. And once it's transferred on your furniture, it looks like it's, it's hand exactly painted. that, hand painted. Because it was hand painted by Josie. All right, let's pick a page. Ooh. Do we want to do sunflowers? Yes, let's. Okay. Now, what you can do, depending on which one you're cutting out, if you want to leave this uh, bound at the top, you can mm -hmm. leave this on and cut it out. Even if you take it off and you decide, oh, I need to get to that one as well, mm -hmm. and you take the whole thing off, it's kind of nice because you can store it all together in a nice flat piece. I love how our transfers have the grid guides. While Sally's cutting these out, I'll talk a little bit about surface prep. You can use the IOD transfers on all kinds of surfaces. Most of the time people are using them on painted surfaces and most of the time they're using a chalk type paint. If you are using a chalk type paint, we find adhesion is greatly enhanced for that really good bond if you seal that paint first with a water-based type sealer. That gives you a nice uh, adhesion surface to go on to. Now, it's super important that before you apply it, you mm. keep these two pieces together. And here's why. This, like we said, is a pressure sensitive adhesive. If you get dust or debris on it, it's going to make it so it doesn't want to stick. No good. No bueno. So, you're going to cut these out, keep them together. You can start laying them onto your project to get an idea of where you want them. Ooh, loving, loving. But again, keep them together until mm -hmm. you're ready to apply them. I think we're you get learn. to decide exactly how you want to lay out your transfer composition. So it's fun to just kind of cut out the pieces you think you're going to use and then start with the backing on, kind of laying it out. Exactly. That's a great point. Some of our transfers are designs that are already composed for you and some mm -hmm. of them are more buildable elements mm -hmm. like this one. Mm, I'm going to get some of these little leaves. I know we're going to want some roses and some rose buds. Okay. So we're going to do like a little compilation of different types of flowers. Yes. Okay. Let's mix them. Okay, we've cut out the majority of the pieces we're going to use on this project. So let's go ahead and start applying them. You want to think in terms of what you want in the front and what you want in the back. So in this case, this little one's going to be behind the sunflower as we had it. So we're going to apply this first. Which leads me to a point. Our transfers are layerable. Yes. And each set comes with a transfer and applicator. Yes. The little tool that's included is what you'll use to apply pressure, starting at one side and moving to the other. And then you're going to burnish it. All right. I think this is the one we wanted here. Mm -hmm. And so let's apply it. Now, you want to hover over your space without touching it until you've decided exactly where you want it. This one I think will be right there. And then you're going to get it down and again apply with rubbing pressure. Now, 
Sometimes you need to secure your piece so mm -hmm. that it's not moving around, like if you're doing it on a dresser or a piece of furniture, for example, and you want to use a low tack tape to apply on the edges of your transfer so that it doesn't shift while you're applying it. One thing we like to mention, when you're transferring the transfer, you can catch a little bit of air under it, and that just kind of comes with practice and learning how to get a feel for that, mm -hmm. but that actually makes the process exactly. much easier and quicker. See how I did that? But you want to do it carefully, like Sally said, with mm. practice, because mm -hmm. if you don't have enough pressure in the application process, mm -hmm. or if you don't go back and burnish it really well, um, that's actually not good. Mm -hmm. Also, you can go right around corners with the transfers as well. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can see that a little bit here, but even if it came all the way over, you can just bend it right over the corner. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's do this one next. I like that. Let's go right off the top there. Our transfers are actually one of our most popular products, and I think the reason is that there's just so much instant gratification with them. You literally take a beautiful picture and put it right on, and within minutes, you have just, you can level up your projects in a beautiful way. thinking here-ish. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay, here's a fun little tip. When you are using a nice long stem like this rosebud on a stem, I kind of I want to put this in here, but I want to have it behind it. So I'm going to trim it, I'm going to cut it off there, and then I'm going to take this piece and move it back here so that you can see the continuation. Mm -hmm. So let's see, I think right about here. And mm -hmm. I'm going to pay attention because I've got an angle there that I want to come up from. So I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to put that like that. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. Now, I want to take this and I want to have this continue down here, this stem. Mm -hmm. So, whether I use this piece or I get another piece off of the, the transfer that is a nice piece of stem, either way works. So, in this case, I'm going to use this and I'm just going to have this kind of go like this. And you want to just kind of say, okay, what would be the natural movement mm -hmm. there? And do it like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim. and apply hover and because we want this in the forefront we're going to go right over the top of the leaves behind perfect
There you go. So that makes sense because you've got this mm. nice long stem of a rosebud there. I love it. Well, that covers the basics of how to apply it. Mm -hmm. Then what you would normally do is, if you want to keep it like this without distressing, you would move straight to your sealing stage. Mm -hmm. You don't always have to seal it. It just depends on the project that you're working on. In the case of furniture, we typically do recommend sealing it with a, a water-based sealer that does not have harsh solvents in it. Or a clear wax meant for furniture. Or a clear wax meant for furniture. All right, you guys, you have seen how easy and fun it is to use our IOD transfers. We really wanna see what you guys make. So, go make something beautiful.